Roberts. Away from John Gregory, Graham Roberts, Archibald to his right, he overran it, but still got through. This is Graham Roberts, was he brought down? Penalty! Tony Curry came in behind him. Fennick was in close attendance, but a penalty has been given, and it was a splendid run by Graham Roberts. Terry Venable's side couldn't stop him. Bob Hazel made an error in that early on, but Roberts went on. And what happens here? Tony Curry comes in with the tackle, down he goes, penalty, Hoddle to take. Scores! Never has a penalty been missed in an FA Cup final at Wembley. And Tony Curry gave that one away, the Rangers captain. And it was the Tottenham playmaker, Glenn Hoddle, who wasted no time in converting it. To Hoddle. Crooks against Hazel, Archibald against Hazel, Crooks again for Tottenham, Archibald pulled it back, it's going to come to Graham Roberts who fires over, tried to keep it down, came onto it with the side of the foot but Archibald's cross it was, and Flanagan, and again, and awkward stain run now, the whistle's gone, the whistle's gone, there was a player offside. They're appealing, but the flag was up on the far side, it's no goal. Just keep your eye on what happens, the first shot by Flanagan, the second shot by Flanagan, look at the player on the... May have been up earlier against the player on the right, but watch now, stain rod falls, the shot by Mickle White goes into the net. Model again. Newton. This is Galvin with the shot. Taken chest high by Peter Hucker from Tony Galvin. Oh, the mistake was by Roberts. Can Curry capitalise? He's found Michael White, who's gone past Hewton and has resisted the other challenge. And Stainrod is in there. And Clements did just enough coming out to put Stainrod off. Very good play here by Gary Micklewhite. Look at the way he resisted the two challenges. Now then, Stainrod is coming in. There goes Clements off Stainrod's head, over the bar. Simon Stainrod with the cross. Flanagan is going up this time with Clements, and he was... This is Gregory, and it's Miller and Perryman away. Clements challenged fiercely by two opponents, couldn't collect that one. Gregory got the ball back in, a timely clearance by Miller, and then Perryman. And in they come, Gregory notably, Hazel at the far side, this is Fennick. Oh, he went down, is it a penalty? No, the linesman flagged, Fennick seemed to be the player who was impeded. I thought I saw a flag go up there. I think Rangers might have a case for a penalty. It's not been given. This is Galvin. Well, there's a talking point. Brooks. That was a letter for Tottenham, and here's Hewton. Or rather, here's Hucker. Galvin. Roberts is nearly in here, Archibald's having a go at it, Archibald, fine save by Hucker, he seems destined to deny Archibald at every strike, fine reactions from Archibald's shot, it was an instant drive here by Steve Archibald with the right foot and an instant save, and there could be something on here for Rangers, it's Stainrod with two coming in from the far side, And there's a deflection on that, splendid save. Stainrod shot, a slight deflection, Clements equal to it. Just caught the second Tottenham player, Clements going to his left. A fine sustained spell here by the second division side, really examining Tottenham. Gregory didn't quite meet it, what it did! Oh, and that's another brilliant save, but it's not over yet, Flanagan puts it back, and it
it's put wide of the goal by Miller. What a cat hit it, and Clements was even more brilliant there. There was a Rangers player in his way. Number nine, look at that, over his head. Great stop. Among other things, here's Stainrod. Referee said play on to Curry, who had possession. Gregory is closing in, Flanagan's there as well. That's awkward, he's hit the bar. My goodness me, they've exposed the far post again, John Gregory. Clements was beaten there. The ball swung beautifully across by Stainrod, that was. And Gregory coming in behind, got a delicate little side foot touch, and look at that, off the bar. How unlucky can they be? Brook with the clearance for Spurs. And it was knocked back there by Neil out to Curry. Gregory in the centre, so is Hazel. And Hazel! Oh, blocked by Miller. Just watch the way Curry drive the ball back, and there was Miller on Hazel. Eight minutes to go. Crooks for Spurs. Perryman. And that's Hoddle. And that's Archibald. And Archibald and Perryman going together. Marvellous goalkeeping by Hucker. So brave. He turned two of them there, and in the end, Tottenham were glad to see Perryman step in. Archibald's away. Put there by Hoddle. Can he make sure this time? Archibald. He's at the post. An agonising cup final for him. Archibald with that opportunity to make it 2-0. At last he beat Hucker, but he didn't beat the post. Well, the stadium humming now as the Spurs fans Look again anxiously at their watches. They know, as Glenn Hoddle knows, that we're in time being added on by the referee for stoppages. And there it is. Tottenham Hotspur have won the FA Cup two years running. But Hoddle's congratulations of Waddock say it all. Ray Clements is relieved because Queen's Park Rangers put up a wonderful fight in the second half here. And Tottenham hung on for dear life and they hung on successfully. And up that specially widened gangway, where the crowd can't quite reach them now, come the Tottenham team and the Footballer of the Year, Steve Perryman, goes forward to receive the FA Cup from His Royal Highness, the Duke of Kent. The end of a very long Tottenham season, but that's what came at the end. Graham Roberts there with the cap. His run produced the penalty, which produced the goal. Seven times now Spurs have won the FA Cup.